Stakeholders in the education sector have thrown their weight behind the establishment of a national commission for polytechnics in the country. They also supported the establishment of the technical and vocational institutions across this country to address issues of youth restiveness and the Jaqua syndrome in the country. They gave the support when they appeared before the House Committee on Federal Polytechnics and Higher Technical Education to make input into the proposal of the three bills to establish vocational training centers in Kano and Lagos, as well as the National Commission for Polytechnics. That all these three bills are very timely, important, and relevant to the situation we are facing today in Nigeria. I therefore convey to you the ministry's full support for the three bills. And I also want to offer to you what the minister has asked me to convey, that the ministry is available if there are some minor tweaks, minor fine tunings to be done on the three bills, the ministry is ready to provide the technical support to fine tune and conclude the bills uh, anytime you are ready. But so far, so good. We are proud of the bills, we, are, we identify with them, and we are committed to their implementation. If Nigeria had positioned its skills agenda 20, 30 years ago, nobody would be demonstrating on the streets, as we have seen in the last few days. People would have been properly upskilled. There are a lo lot of opportunities locally and globally for skills, but Nigerian youth are there roaming about crossing the Sahara with a lot of danger, dying in the Mediterranean Sea. So this vocation training institute is a very positive move, and I am very hopeful that other states will also require to have their own, because this can be seen as another layer of tertiary Tibet education. The stakeholders also said the establishment of a national commission for polytechnics will help address discrimination that polytechnic lecturers face as well as degree dichotomy. Earlier, the speaker who was represented at the event and the chairman of the committee said the hearing will help the committee facilitate the process of enacting the legislation that will bring the much-needed improvement in the socio-economic development of the country. We said effective policy formulation on standardization and quality assurance in the polytechnic sector. The commission will bring about that. Two, concentration on promotion on technical and skill-based education as it affects the polytechnics only. Because I pity even the ES and the MBT, they are overburdened. You know, coordinating technical colleges, uh, monotechnics, IES, polytechnics, in fact, about two to 300 um, you know, schools. So once the Polytechnic uh, Commission is there, I believe they will concentrate on the polytechnics, and that will reduce you know, the burden on the, on, on the, uh, on the MBT. Today, today's hearing aligns seamlessly with the legislative agenda of the 10th Assembly and an enhancing educational framework within Nigeria. We recognize that in the increasing competitive global environment, it is imperative that we equip our youth with relevant skill and knowledge. The proposed agency and institution will serve as a beacon of excellence, providing qualitative education that meet international standards, while also tailoring to meet our local needs. As you may be aware, the objectives of this establish, of establishing vocational entrepreneurship and skill acquisition institution in Nigeria is to train technicians and middle level personnel that would serve as catalysts for a rapid industrialization and development of the real sector of the economy. Therefore, the need for all stakeholders here present to be dedicated and committed in the efforts of improving and developing our educational, educational sector by being objective, constructive in our inputs and opinions on all contending issues on the bills. The three bills seeking stakeholders' input are a proposal to establish a vocational and entrepreneurship institute in Okota Oshodi in Lagos State, a federal vocational and skill acquisition college, Yankaba, in Kanu State, and the bill seeking to create the National Polytechnics Commission in Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.